Welcome back to Living 808. Dogs can get depressed if they're home alone all day. Some pet owners like John Veneri depend on doggy daycare. But did you know there are professionals who make house calls? We tagged along for a day in the life of dog walkers, etc. We are on the road today, literally, with dog walkers, etc. Erin Gerwig. So where are we going? Tell me about this. Yeah, Tanya, we are going to be meeting up with two of our team members who are visiting one of our daily dog walking clients. Uh, we visit Sunny Monday through Friday while her parents are hard at work. And uh, really excited to have you meet up with Lois and Dave to see what we're all about. And this isn't simply walking the dogs. You guys have gone high tech. You even have an app yes. where you can report back to the owners what their best friend is doing. Absolutely. And the clients really love this feature. They get reports in real time when the dog walker arrives and also when the dog walker leaves and fun things like photos can be added so it's really cool and tell me a little bit more about them because they're actually a retired couple yeah so i was fortunate enough to meet lois and dave they came to me because they wanted something to keep them active and uh, they are retired and we love it and clients just love them because they have all the time in the world to give love to the clients and treat them like their grandkids. All right, well, can't wait to meet them and to see your happy client. Yeah, I'm excited too. <laughs> okay, we want to see what it's all about. All right, Tanya, here are two of our pros to show you what Dog Walker Etc. is all about. Lois and Dave, you're in great hands with them, and I'm going to let them take it from here. All right. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Right. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go for a walk. Good girl. Good girl. I'm right here. You guys have the best job. Tell me about walking dogs for a living, your second career. It's, it's wonderful. All of our grandkids are back on the mainland, so we don't get to see them very much. But the, the dogs we walk are like our, our furry grandbabies. We get to take them out every day, love them, spoil them, and then send them back at the end of the day. It's probably the best job in the world. How many dogs do you think you're currently going out and spending time with and walking? Well, on a weekly basis, there are about a dozen dogs that we take out uh, anywhere from one to five times a day. You know, what would you say to someone who is asking, should they get a dog walker? What would you tell them? Well, so many people that we encounter would love to have a dog. They love animals, but because they work all day, they're concerned about leaving the dog home alone for the entire day. That's where we come in. We provide the love, the affection, the care, and the attention that they would give themselves if they were there to do it. They can't, so we fill in and do it for them. And what is each visit like? You do the walk, the treats, the full shebang? Well, it, it all depends on what the client walks. Uh, usually, we greet the dogs. Uh, some dogs will have a new toy that they want to show us, so we play for a few minutes. Uh, then we take the dog out for a walk. Um, if there's anything around the yard or in the house that perhaps the dog has made a mess with, we'll clean that up, make sure everything is going to be clean and safe when we leave the dog, bring him back. Well, we take the dog out, and some people would like us to follow strict training protocol, keep the dog right at our left leg and walk briskly with it. Others say, you know, this is a treat time for the dog, so we want you to just take the dog out, let the dog enjoy himself, stop and smell the roses, and if he wants to stop and roll in the grass, let him do that. It all depends on what the client and the dog want. And from your experience, they're also hiring because there are so many pet owners that have this need. What would you say to someone who was thinking, maybe I could do that? Well, I can speak from the perspective of a retiree. It keeps us young. It keeps us out walking, uh, getting a lot of exercise, doing things in this wonderful environment we live in. Plus, it gives us the opportunity to interact with both the dogs and their owners something that else that's also very important as you get older. So it's an ideal job for retirees. You know, it makes so much sense because everyone's so busy, the dogs need to get out and get their exercise. But for retirees like that, it's a great, fun second career. Who doesn't want to spend time with all these dogs who just love on you, you give them treats and so forth. Yeah, and we were talking, you were saying that the owners are super nice, so definitely, if you guys have dogs, hit them up. I mean, I mean, and it, and it does make a lot of sense because it's like, they're home alone, you're working all day, you mm -hmm. want to give them something to do or 
you know. And the app is amazing. It'll send you, it'll show you the course they took, the pictures along the way, yeah. everything they've logged, when they had a drink. It's pretty much, in fact, like it's kind of a babysitter, the modern version of it for your dog, though. I'm not even kidding. I think John should, you know, probably invest in, and do something like this. He's probably calling right now if he's watching right now. Seriously, <laughs> probably. But good job, Tanya. I like that. <laughs>